Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Eric, and today we have another new K-pop artist that I haven't done yet, but I mean, it's not really new to me. I just didn't realize at the time that he was K-pop. Um, and this is Psy. Um, yeah, I mean, tr- definite legend. Just just music, musically. I mean, what he's done in the, in the industry, the amount of views and numbers and collabs and just just what he's done is just legendary like i said whenever you can transcend an entire genre of music and people don't even know what genre of music you come from um i remember hearing um him in the past and i did i had no clue i don't even think i knew what k-pop was back then when i heard um when i heard of him um and yeah i literally just recently finding out that he is k-pop you know what i'm saying like uh, i just i literally didn't know um but uh, yeah, uh, let's let's get into a little information about him because, like I said, I do know him, but I don't know uh, like I know of him, but I don't really know his his history, his information. So, um, Psy, short for Psycho, debuted in 2001 under Cream Record. In 2010, he joined YG Entertainment. He left YG in 2018. Founded his own company, P Nation, in 2019. His favorite band was Queen. He is the first Korean pop musician to be widely known in the West. His biggest musical influence is Freddie Mercury of Queen. Legendary. Um, first Asian artist to surpass 10 million subscribers on YouTube. His single Gangnam Style surpassed the highest views count on YouTube causing a bug. Gangnam Style has been hailed as a force for world peace and recognized by Guinness World Records as the most liked video on YouTube. So yeah, I mean, again, some stuff that I didn't already know there, but you know, for the most part, I already understood the magnitude of how legendary he was. I definitely feel like he paved the way for K-pop in the West, like on that large of a scale, like in terms of being one of the first like that was again i feel like people didn't even know what k-pop was a lot um when he when he came on the scene and they were just like what like i gotta have to know more um so yeah um let's let's get into it they have uh he has a new video out called that that produced by and featuring sugar of bts that's iconic you know what i'm saying um and then he's and i'm gonna do new face as well the music video for new face um, definitely wanted to put two of his songs out there. So let's get into that. That first, before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Got a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, sigh with that. That featuring Sugar of BTS. <laughs> the man be lit. Oh yeah, this going to be in the clubs for sure. Definitely catchy as hell. What the hell? Yeah, that's definitely Yoongi for sure. Hey, 
Hey! Hey man, he was right. Hold on now. Hold on, Yungi. <laughs> Not the pimp slaps. Vocalist Yungi, hold on now. Hey, okay, hips, come on now, Yungi. Oh, they are killing this. This is a vibe. Hey. Hey. So that was Psy with that, that produced and featuring Sugar of BTS. Um, definitely catchy. It's going to be in the clubs for sure. I can hear it now. Um, perfect song for, you know, I guess the world opening back up. That'll be in the clubs like around the world. Um, I is I feel like the rest of BTS is going to be clowning Yoongi with the like fake slap scenes. Um, I feel like they're just going to be on stage doing that at the shows now. Um, but again, I, I, he just did knowing again, I only really know Gang, Gangnam Style, um, by side, but just knowing that song and knowing like the vibe of that song, it's very on brand. Um, he just seems like he just knows how to have a good time and just make fun music for fun instances, you know what I'm saying? Um, Again, it's definitely one of those songs that's just, it's just relate. It's it's relatable worldwide. You can you can just put it in on any type of like joyous occasion um, and and let it ride out. I I really like what Sugar added to the mix with the rapping. He he was on point. Man can rap. Um, he was on point. He really flowed. Um, and then we got a little vocalist Yungi at the you know at the end too like that was kind of shocking to me but he was hitting them notes a you know, couple little notes that he had um, no nah, I was I was feeling that though I was definitely feeling that um, so let's get into new face now 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 I want to see how this is gonna sound. Hold on. That's the, that's the, she's from A Pink. That's Neon. Neon. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous as all hell. <laughs> Why is she looking at him like that? is beautiful as hell man oh my goodness respectfully (laughs) 
<laughs> and she's still walking away. <laughs> These lyrics, bro. <laughs> this dude is so lit. A room in a bottle. <laughs> Bro, I know she was laughing the whole time they recorded this, bro. She looked like she trying to hold her laugh in every scene. Bro, he is lit. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, that's lit. <laughs> Not the statue. The statue is just killing it. Hey, hey, hey. I just realized she was dancing with him. <laughs> so that was Sai with New Face. Um, that was that was tough. That again, he just he makes party music, man. So far from what I've seen, he makes party music, and it's like. If you do it right, it's going to be everywhere. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be viral. Um, and he just has a knack for making this type of stuff. Um, that was that was Neon, formerly of A Pink, if if I remember correctly. Um, I I just feel like he always has because I, I I think I went back and looked at Gangnam Style again. I had to react to it because um, I I just haven't seen it in a while. But I'm pretty sure Hyuna was in that video. Now that I know who Hyuna is, I can put two and two together, but I probably when I saw that, I didn't know who she was. Um, but I just feel like he always got some type of like iconic female idol in his videos. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong and it could just be these two instances, but um, that was definitely dope. I definitely <laughs> feel like uh, Neon was definitely, she was on point in that video, but I feel like she was definitely trying to hold in her laugh on some of them scenes, because dude is hilarious. He goes hard, they were lit. I, I really noticed that she was dancing with them towards the end. I thought it was the, the, the way they kept going back and forth between the female backup dancers and her, I couldn't really tell. Um, but no, there was fire. Um, I mean, he just, he just, you gotta respect the legendariness of, of anybody in any, in any genre of music, um, you know, when someone pioneers, you know, the growth of something. And uh, he definitely has that type of, you know, iconic energy and vibe around him. And it's, as I was saying, 2022 is so iconic for K-pop just because you got all of these legends that have come back, you know what I'm saying, in the industry. All of these legends, all of these big time acts that have been away for so long, are finally making their reappearance so i just think that that's big time and yeah man love to see it so before you guys go make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh yeah till next time